Kamala Harris spent more time attacking Donald Trump and pandering to the lowest common denominator of voters than actually laying out any plan of substance. Mind you now, she got on there and said, I have never, my, my views have never changed on fracking. <laughs> my views have never, first of all, Mr. Trump, Tim Walls and I are gun owners, okay? We, we are not going to take away anybody's guns. That's a lie. And he said, well, that's not what you said in your plan. That's not what you said before. She has documented all. This is the same woman that says she wants to censor social media. If somebody that says they want to, they want to censor social media, which can fact check these, these people in real time, you think she's not going to lie? Donald Trump was supposedly fact checked a multiplicity of times last night by the CNN moderators, or the, the C, uh, uh, ABC moderators. This man was debating against three people, and he did a hell of a job. So, Donald Trump, if you ever get a chance to see this, you did a hell of a job. From, one, from a black man to you, you did a hell of a job last night. You handled a hostile moderator team. You handled a hostile, uh, 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 a hostile op- opponent, to be, to be nice about it. Kamala Harris reversed her position on fracking. Kamala Harris reversed her position on gun control. Kamala Harris, also, by the way, black folks, again, she still didn't claim y'all. Still didn't claim y'all. When the moderator asked him the question of why do you think it's important to highlight her race? He said, oh, I don't care about her race. I just want to know when she became black. That's it. He has no problem telling you why he said it. He has no issue with it. The thing is, he knows Kamala Harris is pandering. The problem is Trump has a lot more faith in people to listen to substance, whereas Kamala Harris was praying that you listen to sound bites. <laughs> Kamala Harris is a soundbite. She's a soundbite machine. She is the queen of soundbites. What those kind of people look for is soundbites over substance. The Democratic Party speaks in soundbites, no substance. This woman has sat, and that's why I loved Trump's closing statement. He said she's been here for three and a half years. She's done nothing. She's been here for three and a half years. She's done nothing. Kamala Harris is worse than Nancy Pelosi saying about Obamacare. We have to pass the bill to find out what's in it. Lady, you are sitting there on Capitol Hill writing the damn thing. Kamala Harris tells you all in real time that she has no plan through the lack of substance in all of her statements. If you have to spend more time attacking your opponent than promoting yourself, you got the wrong God dang thing going, church. You dig what I'm saying? But he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. He whose eyes is open, let him stay so. Judge. The, the debate just started, and she said that Trump left the worst public health crisis to the Biden administration. That Trump, we talking about the C word, that he left it like it wasn't worldwide, right? That he left the worst unemployment because it was the C word. That's what we gonna do. And you know how many liberals are gonna fall for this? This is crazy. So wait, you just said Donald Trump didn't have a plan, but you have a plan for the economy. But then you turn back around and say Donald Trump's plan is going to be horrible for the country. Which is it, girl? Does he have a plan or not? Does he does he have a plan? Girl, and, and the fact that y'all not go see how she gets caught in her own little tales, her own little web of lies. Okay, so here's what I didn't understand about the debate last night. So... Kamala was able to sit up there and lie for the whole time she was up there. She kept claiming that this man was a part of Project 2025 when he's said over and over again that he is not a part of Project 2025. They didn't fact check her not one time on any of her lives, but they had the audacity to go back when this man was president four years ago and bring up old issues. But didn't want to fact check her about any of the new issues about these illegal immigrants coming over, the inflation rates, the 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 whole well being of the economy as a whole. None of that. They didn't. They they asked her the softest questions you could you could ever ask somebody. But they drilled Trump on stuff that he, that was over four years ago. Like, come on now, it was a joke. ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there have been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the, the people on television say my dog was taken and 
used for food. So maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. I really challenge you guys to get out here and do something. These Haitians are running into trash cans. They're running into buildings. They flipping cars in the middle of the street. They're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, and eating them. Like, and I don't know how, like, y'all can be comfortable with this. Like, I don't know, like, who's getting paid from this. What did you do? Why'd you kill the cat? Go like this. Did you eat that cat? Did you eat it? No, why'd you kill it? Did you guys see all this? No, we pulled up and she was just laying there with me. Did you see her eating it? Eating it. She was eating it? Yeah, she was. You can call the Humane Society to see if they'll come pick this cat up. It's deceased. And let me be clear, this is not about race. This is about people being given the privilege of coming here from another country and having no respect for our people, our land, or our life's work. People living their life here the way they did in Haiti. Angry, stealing, polluting, living in filth, and acting like animals. These are not civilized people. Opening containers in our grocery stores, helping themselves to what's inside and throwing the rest onto the shelves and floors. Pulling off of the highway to publicly clean and gut the roadkill, lying there in front of anyone that passes by. Stealing animals from farmers and leaving their severed heads at the side of an old school where children play. Relieving themselves in public. Making some barbaric stew out of the birds that live in our park. This is insanity and it has to stop. What will become of Springfield? Where will we be in five years? The thought terrifies me. Yo, listen, when I tell y'all Democrats, y'all be going hard. Like y'all literally go hard to defend Kamala and Biden. So this is crazy. Yesterday, y'all, <laughs> it was a town hall meeting in Springfield, Ohio. And in Springfield, Ohio, they found out that the Haitian immigrants were eating ducks. I'm talking about the ducks that usually walk around the park looking so beautiful that you feed bread to. And I, I can't talking about that. But what be, what baffled me about the whole situation was you now have Democrats trying to find. They, I mean, they literally try to debunk everything. Even listen. Even down to not just the people going into town hall meet and talking about what they were experiencing within their community. We talking about they have pictures of of the immigrants walking around with the ducks in their hand, like like literally taking the duck to go home and eat it. I want to ask you something. Are you really seriously defending this? Are you really seriously looking at Biden and Kamala and saying they were the greatest presidents ever? It was, we don't have any problem with them. This economy looks good. This whole party is awesome. Are you, are, are you one of us that's saying, dude, this whole party is out of control? Guys, if you don't see a problem with what's happening, I want to ask that question. When have we ever had a, 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 a presidency when we've seen the borders wide open? Oh, why do you have the bird? Again? Why do you? Oh, have... I catch you. Let, let me have the bird. But, yeah, yeah. I have the but, bird. Uh, I gotta, have the bird. Be I know how to hold the bird. Let go of the bird. Yeah. Okay. So you want to show the? No, the, the bird is not your bird. Take you in for you where you belong. I know, I know you're scared. I don't know what he was doing with you. Okay, take away from them. Make sure you can fly okay and let you go. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone here. You probably do too. This is a young seagull. It still has juvenile plumage on its head. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Can you fly? Come on. Let's see you fly.
you're, you're fledgling. You should have your tail feathers. Go in the water because they're going to bother you again. I don't want to take you away from your home. Go back to your parents. I know, I know. You'll be able to fly very soon. This bird is a baby. Leave it alone. The bird is a baby. No, no. Let it be. So she just started by saying she's going to do this, she's going to do that, she's going to do all these wonderful things. Why hasn't she done it? She's been there for three and a half years. They've had three and a half years to fix the border. They've had three and a half years to create jobs and all the things we talked about. Why hasn't she done it? She should leave right now, go down to that beautiful White House, go to the Capitol, get everyone together and do the things you want to do, but you haven't done it and you won't do it because you believe in things that the American people don't believe in. You believe in things like we're not going to frack. We're not going to take fossil fuel. We're not going to do things that are going to make this country strong, whether you like it or not. Germany tried that. And within one year, they were back to building normal energy plants. We're not ready for it. We can't sacrifice our country for the sake of bad vision. But I just ask one simple question. Why didn't she do it? We're a failing nation. We're a nation that's in serious decline. We're being laughed at all over the world. All over the world, they're laughed. I know the leaders very well. They're coming to see me. They call me. We're laughed at all over the world. They don't understand what happened to us as a nation. We're not a leader. We don't have any idea what's going on. We have wars going on in the Middle East. We have wars going on with Russia and Ukraine. We're going to end up in a third world war, and it'll be a war like no other because of nuclear weapons, the power of weaponry. I rebuilt our entire military. She gave a lot of it away to the Taliban. She gave it to Afghanistan. What these people have done to our country, and maybe toughest of all, is allowing millions of people to come into our country. Many of them are criminals, and they're destroying our country. The worst president, the worst vice president in the history of our country. And then this business about taking everyone's guns away. Tim Walls and I are both gun owners. We're not taking anybody's guns away. So stop with the continuous lying about this stuff. Oh, really, comrade Kamala? Well, what's all this? We need an assault weapons ban. These are reasonable things to do. We need an assault weapons ban. Let us finally pass an assault weapons ban. We need an assault weapons ban. I do believe that we need to do buyback. I'm prepared to take executive action and put in place a ban on the importation of assault weapons into our country. Well, there are approximately 5 million to your point, Craig. We have to have a buyback program, and I support a mandatory buyback program. Um, I support buybacks. How mandatory is your gun buyback program? It's mandatory. And together, when we win in November, we are finally going to pass universal background checks. Let's flag laws and an assault weapons ban. Universal background checks and an assault weapons ban. We'll finally pass universal background checks, red flag laws, and an assault weapons ban. See, the mainstream media isn't going to fact check you, but we are. Nice try. Miss Mama, at what point you gonna put us first? We done watched you, witnessed you put everybody else but us first. And using our taxpayer dollars, our money to put everybody else first. So at what point do we get put first? We got to vote you in and then on day one, you going to put us first. Instead of showing us you going to put us first right now, but we got to vote for you first for you to put us first. That don't sound like even trade to me, my love. Bleach blonde, bad built butch body. Bleach blonde, bad built butch body. Bleach blonde, bad built butch body. Butch body, bad built butch body. Bleach blonde, bad built butch body. Bleach blonde, bad built butch body. How you killed this shit, bro? Bleach blonde, bad built butch body. Bleach blonde, bad built butch body. 
bleach bod, bad built, butch chick, chick. No hips, no lips, not thick, thick, but quick to try and get a roast on. Jasmine clap back like using a flame dog. Oh. Miss Green, I don't know what time you're on. On second thought you get your Vera at the Milo on. You better chill and let it fly. She was being nice. Oh, she on demon oh, time. You better off oh, staying quiet. Bleach blonde, bad built, butch body. Bleach blonde, bad built, butch body. Oh, Bleach blonde. Donald Trump ate Kamala ass the fuck up. You can say what you want. He ate her ass the fuck up. He stuck to policy. He called her our own policy. She sound like Obama repeater. The democracy comment. Child please. He was eating her alive. Okay. He ate Joe up, put Joe to bed. He said, where is Joe? <laughs> I, yo, I never watched presidential debates till he debated him in 2020. And he ate Joe up then. And he ate Kamala up. I don't give a fuck what you the Lulu say. Put a two on the chat if you believe that shit. Because if you didn't, what the fuck was you watching? What was you watching? I was up out my seat. I was up out my seat. I was up out my seat, y'all. I ain't even have a smoke break. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. Let me first say that this is for entertainment purposes only. Y'all know I gotta talk to y'all about the debate. Y'all know I gotta talk to y'all about the debate. Let me tell you something. It kind of went how I thought it was gonna go. I knew that Trump probably wasn't gonna be that nice. This debate. Kind of wanted for him to kind of stay on topic a little bit when it came to the question but i know that trump wasn't gonna be able to do it i knew he was gonna gonna go off on his on his tangents that he be going off because you know that's just some gemini shit if you love kanye west you know kanye west do the same thing i'm with a whole gemini listen when they when they in their feelings they will go from pillar to post on top of that y'all know I, I i didn't even know but did y'all know he ain't never met this lady in real life so this was the first time that he met this chick she been dogging him out like for the last couple of months, been dogging him out. So I, I, I was, I was wondering if I was gonna. Uh, I thought I was gonna hear bitch come out somewhere, but I'm glad he ain't go there because I know deep down inside he probably wanted to call her a stump down dirty leg hoe, even though she was insulting him, like low key insulting him, bringing up past shit. Bringing up all kinds of scandals, things about the, you know, the Central Park Five and everything. I thought that he was really gonna go to hell, cause you know he go low, but I thought he was gonna go to hell, but. He ain't really lie about nothing. I think that more people appreciate the fact that he was authentic up there. More people appreciate the fact that he spoke how we speak, how we feel. He didn't really talk about no policies, which I kind of wish he would have. But she ain't really talk about that many either. And there's something I noticed about her. I noticed that she's a little bit like him, but a little bit more polished. I mean, she's a she's a lawyer. She's an attorney. So she knows how to wordplay. She's a little bit like him when she's asked questions. She'll 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 indirectly answer it, but she'll start off with like a fucking she'll start off with like a story of some sort. Kind of relate to us. You know what I mean? To uh, like a selling point. But once them hands go up. Once them hands go up, that's when that's that's when I start seeing the flash because I know it's some shit that's about to come out, and it's it, I, it, it, it it usually always is because at the end of the day he killed it, he killed it at the end, regardless of how the fucking debate went, as entertaining as it was, as heated as it got, he asked one question that we all wanted to know that we all ask all the time on this app in these lives why haven't you done it yet you funky bitch you making all of these promises about what you gonna do you saying you gonna do this you saying you gonna do that you had three and a half years to deliver on your promises you've been flipping and flopping and flipping and flopping on things that you were once not okay with but now you okay with them at the end of the day America is not going to survive with a bad plan. And we don't trust you. And he, yeah, he won that debate. He didn't even have to really do too much, but he definitely won. And this is proof. I think that more people now are starting to realize that they're sick and tired of being sold dreams. They want somebody authentic. They want somebody that speaks with passion. Because I saw passion up there. He was pissed. Why? why, why? 
How would you feel if somebody you don't know been talking shit about you behind the back? They've been throwing all these charges. Now they got you as a felon. You almost got shot, got your head blew off in front of your kids. How would you feel? And you can't really say what you want to say. Because I know that that bitch was like low key at the tip of his tongue. But he kept it cool. And for that, it's Trump 2024. Let's go. He was not finna shake her hand at all. They still bringing up this 16 million job shit? Come on, bro. Somebody need to explain tariffs to somebody. Somebody, it's clearly a difference in opinion of what the fuck a tariff is. Is she trying to blame him for the pandemic? No, no, no. Answer the question. Why you ain't take the tariffs off if they so fucking bad? Why does she keep bringing up this uh, AB ban saying it don't make no exceptions? He been saying he in favor of his exceptions. Bro, why won't he just say he won't sign, he won't sign a ban? He said it before, just said it again. Oh, them Christians got you by a fuck your collar. Nah, what's 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 the latest month? Tell us the latest month. That's all we want to hear. And millions of people that. Excuse me, I'm talking. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> yeah, she not answering questions. He not either though. Ain't need one of these motherfuckers answering nothing. They don't want to answer. Bro, please, please, why did he bring up the cats and dogs? Oh, my God. Who, please, somebody kick Trump off Twitter. Elon, please kick Trump back off Twitter. He don't need to see the stuff that we see. He don't know not to say it. Dick Cheney? Now we celebrate Dick Cheney. Okay. Okay, Democrats. Can we get this uh, election interference special with Trump explaining what happened in Georgia and Pennsylvania? Can we get that? I want to see it. I want to see him explain it. My boy didn't just answer no, not one question about how he going to deport these people. He ain't say shit. Bro, he got to lay off the water now. After we get past this, he got to lay off the water. She was just trying to pull at them, them hard strings with that AB, though. Is the moderators on her side? Like, they, they not fact-checking her at all. My boy ain't big for taking responsibility. He, is, he, ain't, he ain't take responsibility. None of that for January 6th. He, none of that had nothing to do with me. Nope. I ain't gonna lie, that 5 by 81 million people lying. She practiced that. Long story short, ain't nobody gonna help the Palestinians. We ain't, ain't nobody gonna help the Palestinians. Trump ain't even answer a question. Trump didn't even call these people Palestinians. He got the <laughs> He been talking to Israelis. He been talking. <laughs> no, he fucked up on that rush. He say, you went there to talk to Zelensky three days later, Putin invaded. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Point for Trump. Did she just... Take credit for removing soldiers out of Afghanistan while simultaneously putting all the blame on Trump. Hey, you can't, you can't have it. But either y'all moved them or Trump moved them. So you can't say we moved them, but it was his idea to move. Them, but all the bad shit that happened during our term was his fault. But the actual initial starting of the removal, which he started, was off. Credit, our fault. That's what I want to hear. They did not follow the steps of the withdrawal. I think Trump won this one. The Afghanistan and the Russia question. The foreign policy with Trump. Whoo! It's like the moderator is helping Kamala. They said after nine years, you still ain't got nothing for the uh, Affordable Care Act. Fine people lie. Bloodbath, lie. Suckers and losers, lie. What a fact check. She preaching hope again. Yes, we can. 2.0. Exactly. Why, why, why won't, why won't she do it right now? Go straight to the White House right now and do it. Do, do it right now. So I'm going to score it. I give the immigration issue... To Trump. The A B issue, come on. Affordable Cares Act issue, come on. The economy attack. 
foreign policy, Trump. The moderators was only fact-checking Trump. They was not fact-checking Kamala. I won't even lie, I give a slight edge to Kamala only because he looked crazy when he talked about the people cooking cats and dogs. That looked wild, my boy, wild, wild. What's up, family? Let me be first to say that this video is for entertainment purposes only. But this video is a clear representation of why it's bad for white liberals to speak on what black people need to do when it comes to their vote. And why, in retrospect, they just need to shut the fuck up, man, their business and focus on their own plate. Because we're tired of y'all. And I'm going to tell you why right after this video. Check it out. I get attacked by the beautiful brown african-american i don't know what the right term is that we are up i don't i don't know what it is i don't like saying the word black because your skin is not black um but i posted a video about the group that is supporting trump blacks for trump do y'all remember that video and i said i think that if you are supporting him at this point knowing all the racist shit that he has done for the progression of your your people i'm being dragged for that video because i did that back in june and it's now getting traction now there's like eight videos that were just done in the last couple of days now most of them are trump supporters but i'm being dragged and i this is this is for the community that's not my color i don't know what the, they're saying that we don't call them blacks you're right that's not i didn't make that up it's being worn on t-shirts at the damn rallies. I would assume that if you've been a follower of mine for a long time, you know that I am an advocate. Okay? I'm not one of those that's like, well, I have black... No, bro. No, that's not how I am. And a lot of you were like, well, you don't understand what the caring... What, what, why would you care? Like, so I was sitting there saying that, in my opinion, it doesn't feel like you care about the progression of your people not gonna progress bro he's gonna put you all in jail he's gonna allow the cops to shoot you on sight he's gonna give the cops take away any rules any ramifications for doing their job he said it at rallies i stand with your community i want your community to be successful i want your people to be successful i want Ooh. your people to have the same rights that i was given just because i was born with this skin color i don't understand how i'm being dragged like so so to the african-american community then educate me see this is the perfect example of why keeping it real can go so wrong so don't worry about it i'm gonna i'm gonna set you right real quick because it's obviously that you don't know that between 1866 and 1966 the democrats voted against almost every single piece of legislation that was trying to be put in place for black people in fact the democrats are the ones who actually not only created the kkk everything that was set in stone under abraham lincoln when it comes to newly and freed slaves they pretty much i don't know did what biden did stepped over it removed the shit and allowed them to do whatever the hell that they wanted to do to newly freed slaves including steal the money that they worked hard for I'm talking about that trump want to put people in jail you mean the same way that the clinton administration created the crime bill along alongside biden the current president and put so many black and brown people in jail for stupid ass crimes giving them 25 years to life for stupid ass crimes. i mean aside from the numerous amounts of things that he did when it came to the black community and people like jesse jackson whose campaign he funded when he was running for president he created the first step act which 90 percent of black americans who were in prison had their sentences reduced it also shortened the mandatory sentence when it came to people who committed nonviolent crimes allow people who were sentenced because of racially motivated crimes to be evaluated he also launched a ready to work act which gave those same people who were possibly released from prison and jail to find jobs the same jobs that are currently being taken over by the illegal immigrants that your administration has currently allowed to take black unemployment was also at its lowest that it had ever been in decades under his administration not to mention that black entrepreneurship rose under his administration 
Also, the only president to sit down with Ice Cube when he came up with his contract for black America, even though he bought it to both Biden and Trump. And Biden lied and said that he would get back to him when he got reelected, and he never did. You all fail to look in the mirror and understand that what you say at this point is not credible. Maybe you could continue to talk to the rest of those coons that's in your comments that's talking about, oh, girl, we understand. See, those are the people that's on the plantation and we don't claim them. Those are not our people. Possibly step off of your soapbox, okay? Hopefully you don't break your leg when you do that. Bye. Dear Kamala fucking Harris, you lying doghead bitch. Hold up. Let me unfold this. You opened up that fucking border to let them Venezuelans in here to take over our fucking apartments. You gave them food stamps, cash, and promised them our fucking housing. All for a vote that you still ain't going to get. You couldn't get through 10 minutes of the debate without that stupid ass laugh standing there like you ain't know what was going on until Donald Trump put you on front street. Then you let more ex-convicts -con in here in the name of migrants. But they want to tell you that it's the low, this on the state, it's on, it's on uh, the, 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 I mean, the Republicans. All politics is local. Yes. Every in this state, don't let them fool you. From the top, from, from the lieutenant governor to Tony Pragwinkle to the mayor to the police chief to the state's attorney to, to, to the aldermen, to the congressperson, to the state reps, all are black. You got 150 elected black positions and our communities look the way they look. And if I say something, if I say something, if it's not with my brother, he just got there. They want to legislate for us without ever bringing us at the table. I did 21 years in the prison. What they gonna tell me about what we need? <laughs> Regardless how you feel about Vice President Harris, Trump is unfit to run this country. Well, that doesn't make sense because he's already ran the country for four years. And by the way, let's look at his economics. Let's look at his economic impact uh, from 2017 to 2021, which were the years Donald Trump was in office. The average yearly inflation rate under President Trump was 1.9 percent. Inflation remained low during Donald Trump's presidency. And by the way, this comes from Investopedia.com, which is an un it's an unbiased website purely focused on economics. Uh, Trump passed the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security, or what we call the CARES Act, in an attempt to provide relief to individuals and businesses. The economic fo policies followed by his administration are now known as Trumponomics. Joe Biden, from 2021 to the present day, the year-over-year -year inflation rate is 5.7%. And we f I feel that every time I go to the grocery store. I feel that every time I go to a restaurant. I feel that in my pockets directly. Now, I don't know about you, but... I'd rather side with the businessman that ran this country like it needed to be ran for four years that had in, that had my pockets lighter, put money in my pockets, and also during the pandemic handled it beautifully by revitalizing and stimulating the American economy. More black businesses were started under Donald Trump's administration than have been started now. This is why Kamala Harris says she wants to incentivize small businesses with a $50,000 loan. She wants to incentivize families by giving them a tax credit, which, by the way, Kamala also stole from J.D. Vance as she steals all of her policies. This woman had no actual policy layout until 24 to 48 hours prior to this debate. She doesn't know what she stands on. What is very clear to me is that she only knows how to pander to the weakest kind of voter and and it is by doing that, by pandering to people who I would truly call low political intellect voters, not low information, because the information's out there. They just don't want to go out there and grab it. This is exactly how the Democratic Party works. This is why you have to remind people, make them think that it's a party. This is why at the DNC they had Megan Thee Stallion. This is why at the DNC they had every, every major celebrity that they could pay off to get their hands on, because they want you to not understand or not realize that they're telling you they're going to fix the very problems that they caused. This is why I loved Trump's closing statement in the debate. She's, she's had three and a half years. She's done nothing. Nothing. She's done absolutely nothing. And my question to you is this. Economically speaking, and for everyone that watches this, economically speaking, which is what affects us all, were you better off economically under 
President Donald Trump with 1.9 percent inflation? Or are you going to lie to me and tell me you're better off when inflation is at 5.9 percent? Because the cost of living, there have not been enough cost of living adjustments to combat inflation for everyday working Americans. There have not been enough regulations put on how many bonds we're buying from the Federal Reserve to combat inflation. Joe Biden and the Democrats and Kamala Harris, because this is her administration now, let's be honest, Biden has not been competent since 2021. She is continuing to allow the Fed to print and give us money and charge us for it, by the way. Go read Modern Money Mechanics if you haven't read that document. The Federal Reserve is a private institution that gives us every dollar we have on a loan at interest. They're continuing to let the Fed run rampant. Donald Trump has stated he's going to combat the Federal Reserve, maintain the United States dollar as the world's reserve currency, and on top of that, strengthen America's economy by pulling us out of all of these bad deals and imposing tariffs on China. China's going to end up paying us millions of dollars in tariffs, which is going to stimulate the economy and generate growth in Americans' GDP. That's somebody that I deem is competent to run this country, not somebody that, as I've said with, as I said on, on YouTube Live last night with Judge Joe Brown, somebody that has no policies, only political pandering skills. Judy! You ain't never met a police officer that ain't no bitch. I promise you. You ain't never met one that ain't no bitch. Justin Robinson was one man unconscious in his car. He was unconscious for a very long time. He was unconscious for so long that they were able to clear the drive through they were able to call back up. They were able to block him off. They were able to shine his fl their flashlights inside his car multiple times, both on the passenger and driver's side. They were able to look inside his vehicle. They were able to have conversations. And then they shot him 11 times because he was such a threat. Come along with me while I walk you through the process of picking cotton and what I do with it. I've gotten really good at harvesting as I use my index finger and my thumb to pull the cotton out of the bulbs to avoid injury. The next step is a little bit more daunting, so I typically like to turn on a show. This is the sorting process where I de-seed it and I clean it and I pull all the bugs out. Fun fact, I'm farsighted, so doing this takes a lot of concentration. The pillows you see in the background are stuffed with cotton. The mattress underneath me is stuffed with cotton. What in the nigga Nora Smith? Black women, eventually y'all gonna have to be honest. And y'all gonna have to openly address this shit. As loud as y'all address all the black men issues and how we ain't shit, yada, yada, yada. Y'all gonna have to address this because I've, exp <laughs> I've exposed this several times, dog. You got this. She is picking cotton. And she has children. She is with a white. She has children. She has children, but Lord forbid a black man sit on the couch on draft night with a snow bunny. You will have think peace after think peace after psychological breakdown after psychological breakdown of black men. But you got this. She is picking cotton. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, that's might as well say that's what that what the what her husband got her out there doing. I mean, out there got her out there cars playing twelve years of slave. And she doing it with a smile on her face. That's wild. You know the difference between a biracial kid when they got a black mama versus when they got a black daddy because a black mama don't play that shit. Yes. Wearing a milk mage dress whilst humming what sounds to be Negro spirituals and picking cotton all in the same breath. And not only that, Ladies and gentlemen, she said she felt like she was born to pick cotton on these people app child. She said it on these people's app. Curiosity got the best of me and I went on her page just to see what her life was like and I seen who her husband was and possibly the person who was recording 
the video. And I just want to say that if you guys, if, if, if they do decide to delete this app, I will be okay with it. I hate when y'all get on social media talking about, I think everybody should stop saying the N-word. I think everybody should stop saying it. And maybe white people won't say it. No, y I, I, white people should just not say the fucking N-word. Non-black people should just not say the fucking N-word. Shut the fuck up. I hate when y'all move the goalposts and try to gaslight racism because y'all can't have it. I hate when y'all be like, I think everybody should stop doing it. If I can't do it, I think everybody should stop doing it. Stop doing that dumb ass shit. That shit dumb. That shit dumb. Non-black people should not be saying the N-word at all whatsoever under no circumstances on no fucking day. Stop trying to gaslight racism. Stop moving the goalposts when we try to tell non-black people and palm colored people not to say fucking racial slurs. Fuck you bitches. I'm not even joking. I'm sick of this conversation. Just shut the fuck up. Like dead ass, shut the fuck up. Like I'm not even joking.